Hey guys, how it's going? Ugh, it's been a while since I made my last video, but uh, yeah, so um, just did a big ride on Sunday, so I guess it'd be two days ago now. Um, but I basically did my first ride um, out on my new hubs. Uh, I was trying to get built. Uh, I think I mentioned them in my first video. Uh, they're the Chris King uh, R45s. Um, they're really nice uh, ceramic bearings. Uh, as you can see, there's there's all my wheels there. And that uh, red center one is the new uh, the new front hub for the bike, and they run really well. Um, expensive, but um, yeah, they're they're a really nice hub. Um, yeah, so as you guys may know, I do live in Alberta, and uh, although I'm many hours away from Fort McMurray, um, there are still quite a few people that are from around here that do work up in Fort McMurray. So um, as you guys may know, yeah, um, they had a big fire there, which um, crossed over the river and burnt down a lot of a lot of the city and homes and infrastructure. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys want to donate to that, donate to the Red Cross, um, cause they're, they're doing a lot there. Um, yeah, it's kinda, kinda sad, you know. Um, I can't, can't imagine losing my house that I've lived in or you know, family home with all the memories, whatnot. But um, yeah, it's pretty hard. Even though, like, <clears throat> just imagine losing your house, but also not having worked in so long. So you've lost your job. Uh, a lot of them have, you know, lost their vehicles and had to downsize their houses there too. And then the fire rolls through and destroys everything else and destroys the rest of your life so that's um it's real hard really hard for uh people to go through but uh yeah <sighs> hopefully they can rebuild Fort McMurray uh better than what it was before from what I heard um you know the infrastructure was really bad in Fort Mac um <clears throat> just because it it was a town that was designed for 20 to 30,000 people and you know over you know the last 10 15 years it's went from you know 20 to maybe 30,000 people max as well as designed for to over a hundred and then lots of camps uh, all the way around it just for all the oil field so like yeah it was just a just a disaster for infrastructure so hopefully now they can you know rebuild it um I don't like saying things like it's a good thing Fort McMurray burnt down it's not um but you know, now they can rebuild it to accommodate, you know, the amount of people that live there and work there. And um, hopefully that's a good thing that comes out of a really bad thing. Um, but yeah, um, not a happier note. Um, you know, it looks like the fire's starting to die down now. Um, uh, support from all over Canada is coming in. Um, because a lot of people work up in Fort Mac, live in BC and Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, uh, Ontario. Not, not that many from Ontario <laughs> because of the they don't they don't really like us here um 
but uh yeah so really like all the all the sport coming from all of canada um it, it it's definitely gonna help them out um but yeah so um but yeah so i can't can't wait for uh my dad and my stepmom to come out with my youngest brother. Um, as I said in previous videos, we're gonna do the Jasper Cran Fondo, which would be really good. I did, on Sunday, I did the, a training ride. It was 122 kilometers. And um, basically, if, if you know Jasper National Park, um, I think you probably know of the, the Sky Tram. Uh, Mount Basin, which is Ski Hill, and then Edith Cabell, which is um, a mountain. Um, but there's also a huge glacier at the top. Um, so basically, in the in the 122 kilometers that I did, um, it was 2,000 vertical meter, meters of distance traveled, and um, so that's that's quite a bit for a guy coming from Ontario to do and. 120k um but yeah so it was pretty good ride i encountered one one brown brown black bear and um yeah few few elk or caribou i can't remember which ones they were um you know it's the roads the roads going up to Mark Basin and Edith Cavell. They're pretty pretty clean right now. Um, Edith Cavell is still close to the public. It's probably going to open either the week before or the week after the Grand Fondo. They're mainly keeping it closed just for cyclists, um, which is great because Edith Cavell is a beautiful road. It's nice and smooth. Um, Basically, like a giant chunk of that glacier fell off a few years ago and destroyed most of the road. So, um, basically, it got redone then. And, uh, yeah, it's just beautiful. Um, the road just past um, Edith Cavell going out 93A to the uh, Athabasca Falls is still pretty crappy. But uh, I imagine they're going to work on that probably this year which would be nice because uh, it's nice and scenic it's not busy like 93 um, but yeah so can't wait so yeah but uh, yeah um, leave a like subscribe um, yeah um, I do these videos more more so for me, but um, yeah, it's um, one thing I want to ask though is uh, I like when YouTube channels do this, like um, GCM, but um, if money was not an option um, or sponsors, um, whatnot, but. What would your dream bike frame be um, with components, you know, like if you, yeah, like if you want like best wheels, best everything, what would you like have? And um, I'm going to see if I can leave a link to the GCN show that they did today. Um, Basically from the Giro d'Italia, basically they had um, Tom Last and uh, Steve. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Uh, Matt Stevens, there you go. That, that was his name. Um, they basically went through the, the prologue time trial and looked at all the bikes and they're basically coming up with their butt best uh, bike frame and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'll 
like to hear what you guys have to say, you know, personal preferences, the frames, and um, brands. Um, but yeah, uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks.